Hello everybody. Happy day to you. Woo! I just lost my voice, but I think you might be able to hear me because we are going to yoke together our body, mind, and soul because we need it. I know we do. Because we're a we. And what I do affects you and what you do affects me. So, how's your body? My body feels great. I don't know why. It makes no sense. But it feels great. Maybe it does make sense. Next question. How's your mind? My mind is solid as a rock. Good. In the face of adversity and change. And my mind is good with the unknown everything and even with very everything. So that could be why my body's good. Now where's our soul? I think mine's over there with two. up. Now take your spine right in here and get that straight all the way down, all the way up here. that we're here in mountain now we're going to work with the chakras the energy so quickly from here depending on where your level is with all seven let's move up to the top one the visuda real quick black that visuda right here Think of the color blue, like this gorgeous ocean, except probably very much so like the gorgeous ocean because it's going to be a blue that we don't really have a significant, it's not steel. It's going to be a flowy color blue with light and magic. So let's do that again. Mountain. I'll come down into chair. enjoying the uh, shade because it's cooler today so she's roaming around <laughs> so we're gonna have her be here with us so we can relax now these things you may have to stop and do in your practice but they're an example of how to live yoga not just here on the mat all the time Not just, oh, I'm coming in to work out and leaving. No, it's staying. And the longer you get it to stay, for eternity is the goal. To be the boat of this today. No beginning and no end, the divine light of the sun. Happy! <laughs> okay, so let's stand in a mountain here and reach up again and get nice and solid. And let's come into chair. Now 
have come to the heart and twist that butt down in your chair and twist. Now come on down, all the way down. Give to key a pinch. Now we're going to jump. Now we've been practicing this a bit with the up dog. So what we're going to do is jump back and then jump forward and jump back and then drop your head between your shoulders. Now I'll show you where we've been practicing it. So come up to three legs off and it's right here. So you bring your knee in and then jump. Knee in and jump. Knee in and jump. So that's where we've been practicing. Then knee in and jump. And jump. So that's where we've been practicing. Drop the head. Now come into dolphin. And little kicks. Okay, now we're up. Now we're going to do a little flow. So what we're going to do is, from here, come in with between your knees, put your foot back already into warrior two, and rise. And then here we are in warrior two. Warrior two right here. And then, okay, so come down low, align the hips. Warrior one, and the best part, look up. is so funny. I'm going to scoot you back a bit. Okay. Now, so from here we'll have to jump out and then line the hips. And we got warrior two. Now these may seem easy, but it's the energy, the seven main ones, as well as the subtle body that we're working on. So warrior two right here. Up, warrior one. Open the visuda. Up. Reverse. Now turn the foot back. <laughs> I couldn't find her. Okay, turn the foot back. Open your wings. Fly away to where we want to go. Exactly where we are, Bodha Vista. Love, peace. Solidify everything as awesome. That's it. So fly to that which is here. Circular mindset. Okay. Make it happen. <laughs> Literally. Okay, now swoop the earth up and back. Sorry, baby. Go ahead and split and look up. Again, working with the Malhara up to the Svastana, to the Manipura, the Ananada, all the way through to the Ajna. So you can see, not look. See. Yes. Now, easy way to get back and forth is forward. On this side. Walk your foot in. Now we're up. It's tricky. Okay. Now, I can't see this. Okay, here we go. Open your heart. Open your wings. Swoop down and up and back. bring your heart down to your knee and up again. Now from here, let's go ahead and hit a mermaid. Bring your foot in and this foot in. 
bring this one up. This gets easier and easier the more you do it and connect. Perfect. Okay, now come forward, up, back, and down. Down dog. Now come center. Roll over on the arms. Stack the feet. Bring the toe up. Play up the back. Really, and while they pushing up, help us out. And then down. And then center again. And then over. Side to side. Slide out the top of your head. And back. And up. And back. And up. Center. Back. Three leg down dog. And up. Oh, oh, I know. Keep the foot straight right here. This is a whole thing. Putting you to up dog with the pelvis up. Now roll the toes to back. And then three leg down dog and keep it up. So the foot, if it's, if it's like this, like I've been doing, the butt is relaxed here, it's tight. So back. And then down and back. And down. Dolphin. And now we're gonna come through. The leg I grew, lock it in, and to warrior two on this side. Does this feel good? Warrior two. Feel that soul come out? Let it all go. Two and one, and look up. Release, warrior two, reverse warrior. Now let's come up to crescent. Open the wings. Up and back. Excellent. Now come down on this front muscle here. I saw saying when I did rotate the ankles and the claws. that leg in. Shape for two feet. Now, hands and knees. Rotate the hips. Keep yourself fluid like water. And release. And release. Now, we'll go ahead and spread them back. All the way back. 
moment when you did all releases. And that's the way all. Oh. I've had a lot. I've witnessed a lot. Well, that are, how do you do? Good? Maybe. Okay. Um, let's lay on our belly. I mean, on our back. Ready? <laughs> so I'll tell you I'll tell you what happened um okay um I need to go down to the water come on okay I'll tell you what happened um let me see what happened, what happened it's like a movie but it isn't uh yesterday yesterday what happened the day before Oh, someone had had strep throat, so I had to go get tested for strep throat because I had a little thing, clearly, again, uh, because of the nature of these people I'm with. So, us, because we're a week. Um, we are a week. So, yesterday, a girl that's been in there the whole time has a cute little dog, uh, started exhibiting, uh, uh, she started exhibiting she started exhibiting um, um, yuck. some yucky people here. She started exhibiting, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, so, let's see. Oh, paranoid schizophrenia. I'm going to do three cartwheels. So she started exhibiting paranoid schizophrenia. And, uh, and uh, Tookie, you want to go back in the water? She started exhibiting paranoid schizophrenia and I felt really sorry for her and got her help. Turned out she was a drug addict and it was mad. I almost started crying, I felt so sorry for her. Next thing, uh, then another girl screamed at one, yet yeah, this morning really loud, awful behavior and they're all on meth. So there's many ways to hide from meth and I think that I've, I've explained it earlier. Uh, so don't let people fool you. There's a lot of people on meth um, and they might even look like me, or you may think they would. Or, um, but the difference between me and people, I see a shell I want, people on this is that um, their jaw goes like this, back and forth. Uh, one, they cannot slow down like I can. I can slow down. Um, they can't. Uh, and they won't stop. And it's very different than a bipolar mania. Um, but evidently the meth these days can go on for three days. Uh, and it gets really, really bad. Um, so that happened. Um, and then, um, yeah, so Tookie just got, Tookie just got really, really uh, stressed out and so did I. So I just had to make a big stink about it. So, yeah, that happened. And then this morning, 
Another one's doing it. Tookie. Hi. Oh, she is a service animal. Yeah, I showed her papers when I first got here. Thank you. Um, look how pretty this is. I love y'all. I'm gonna go. It seemed like a lot more than it was. You had to be there. It was a lot. Y'all, she, oh, y'all, she saw that part of the wall was a screen and there were blue and red lights. Hi. There were blue and red lights and stuff. She saw and it was going on and then it escalated. It was a bad job. Thought her dog was right in front of her and she thought she lost it. And she said that, uh, that this guy picked her up and that Peter Frampton was there uh, and that her name was on this website. Y'all, it was sad. But now that I know that it was a chosen drug addict, that's different. We should just let them all go. Die. I'm serious. It's really bad for everyone. I love y'all.